Hey guys, Hidduka Dude here. Welcome to another reaction video. This time it's going to be a little different. This one is more based on this particular direct, and it's not about games, but about a theme park. Super Nintendo World. I mean, who would have thought we'd actually get to see this? An actual theme park based off of Nintendo's uh, intellectual properties. This is going to be an interesting one, because um, no one would have expected to see uh, Universal team up with Nintendo over the years. Especially after that little um, debacle that happened years ago about, you know, Universal trying to sue <laughs> Nintendo over Donkey Kong. And, uh, well, apparently the whole case was more of a, more in Nintendo's favor. Now, we all know historically what actually happened there. Um, if uh, you're still new to the whole thing, I do recommend you check out Gaming Historian. He has some really good um, insight. He has a lot of um, explanations, backstories regarding a lot of gaming-related uh, stories. But the one about Nintendo and um, Universal was a pretty interesting one back then. But anyway, um, regarding Super Nintendo World here, <clears throat> it's like what to expect. Well, aside from the um, the Mario related content, easily it's going to be enough to rival um, Disney World because you know how uh, Miyamoto uses Disney as a reference all the time. Because when you think about it, uh, the Mushroom Kingdom, the uh, the the elements in Mario are somewhat referenced to have, are are basically influenced by Alice in Wonderland. So uh, we got the stuff like, for example, the uh, the power-up mushrooms, they are basically coming from the uh, eat me and drink me um, type of snacks that appear in like in Alice in Wonderland. And also regarding um, another, um, let's say, another Disney cartoon, Disney animated feature, Peter Pan, that eventually became the uh, inspiration for Legend of Zelda, for, for the Link character. Interestingly, I mean, we have, let's see, a character with a green tunic. And who has a who is accompanied by a fairy, and carries a sword. So it's you can see where the influences came from. She, Miyamoto is obviously an avid uh, Disney fan, as you can see. <clears throat> as for like what other um, what other attractions this thing might have, what other rides, eh, it might have. Let's say, I, I think I did see like some images regarding. Um, Let's say like a Mario Kart type of roller coaster ride. That would be an interesting one. Uh, they're probably going to have like a lot of walkthrough areas regarding pipes and warp zones. Um, I'm hoping that they have something else beyond Mario because I want to see some more Zelda content. You know, not just the Mushroom Kingdom, but I want to see the Hyrule Kingdom as well. How would that be implemented? As a matter of fact, how long do we have to wait until we get to see this in Universal Studios? Uh, Orlando or, or Hollywood if it still survives uh, you know given the, the whole COVID thing but uh, still I mean there's just a lot of things to expect we still have a few minutes left a couple more minutes uh, other ideas that I've always wanted to see but that is if uh, Nintendo finally like revives its other intellectual properties well, hoping it does easily they could do something with F-Zero they could have done another roller coaster Kind of similar to like the the roller coasters that are seen like in Islands of Adventure, or um, let's see, maybe do something like 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 a scary like a walkthrough or type of attraction using Metroid, Samus Aran. Maybe I don't know influence it like a like like they turn it like a, the Terminator Two Three D spectacle, but with Metroid getting involved. Uh, let's see. Splatoon, Splatoon, they could easily turn it into like a type of, um, well, I, I was going to say like laser tag, but no, no, not laser tag. It has to be, it has to be water gun related. It has to be like some kind of a fun attraction for, for kids in that aspect. Uh, you know, uh, invisible ink type water guns, if they're going to like implement that somehow. But yeah, I mean, ideas can go anywhere at this point. Your imagination could run wild. We're all hoping for the best, and I just hope it's... A lot more than just Mario. Well, let's see. Ah, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Mario no otoshan no Miyamoto des. Konkai no direct wa game no shiyose dewa arimasen. Tsui ni Nihon no koko Universal Studio Japan ni 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's begin. Here we go. Make a life-size warp pipe. And with the Mario 3 music in the background. Nice. Walking into the warp pipe, we hear a lot of... Uh, oh, we hear the sound effects, we hear music in the background. We warp into uh, Princess Peach's castle, I guess? It's the Mario 64 stage. That's the lobby. Nice call back there. A lot of music from the Mario series that plays like around this. <laughs> so yes, this is going to be Disney's, uh, Nintendo's answer to Disney. Oh, that's cool. Holographic images. I think it's official now. Miyamoto has officially become Walt Disney. The 21st century Walt Disney. Mount Beanpo with a flag on the top. <laughs> Let's take a look at the park from Peach's Castle. Yoshi and Goomba Tower. The attention to detail is amazing. Interact how? The question mark block. What's he gonna do? Do you more fun if we have a power up band? So I'm guessing you're going to get power-ups from those watches? From those power-up bands? With QR codes, yeah, they have to implement some kind of gimmick. See, the changes may apply, let's see. I punch it with my hand, you hear the coin sound. Okay, so that gets a coin inside one of the apps. One of the Nintendo apps, I guess. Six different types of power-ups. They work like Amiibo, okay. I'm getting closer to the blocks. I like how they actually replicated even the coins that are spinning. A huge piranha plant. That is big, yeah. <laughs> Don't wake it up. The attention to detail is just mind blowing. We got, uh, yeah, Koopa Troopas. I wonder if you can interact with the power blocks too. Tapping this key. Uh oh. You have to time it just right. Okay. One more. Okay. Okay. 
Interactive elements called activities, yeah. So these are activities that you do to collect points in an app, I guess? A battle with Bowser Jr., huh? <laughs> Let's see what else we got in store. The underground cave. Oh, a huge maze. More blocky than creepy. <laughs> Subtle. A lot of hidden, hidden elements in this thing. <coughs> hidden elements. Just be careful they don't blow up. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day Miyamoto tune into Walt Disney. Oh, some big blocks. Just one coin? Hmm. I wonder if they randomize. I'm guessing there have to be guides inside to tell you what to do and to avoid uh, customers and visitors to uh, damage the, uh, de the devices inside. So what's the next area in store? The one-up factory. Yeah, <laughs> a gift shop. Okay. Nice. Special toy that Nintendo Development Team created, and that is? Tokotoko Mario. Oh, that's nice. That looks pretty cool. That's a collector's item right there. <laughs> He's eating popcorn from a star man. That's awesome. Caramel peach flavor and mushroom flavor. <laughs> Toad's Cafe. Hello. Oh, wow. Even the, the models are interactive. They actually blink. Woohoo! Hmm, so what's the, the food like in here? A big gift box and a small one.
It's a lot of coins. And the coins are four. First one is run by toads. Toads are going to greet us. This is one of those things where they have like a, a sort of like a, a little uh, lunch window that's usually open and they just serve the food while the, the video is playing. <laughs> it looks like an actual, that, that's an actual food court. The whole place is like, it, it's an amazing looking food court, I'll give it that. Toes are working hard to prepare the food, of course. The items on the menu are made... Especially in my kingdom, Let's see. The Mario Burger. <laughs> Mushroom Pixable. <laughs> they better taste good. <laughs> Let's see. ファミリーコンピューターのスーパーマリオブラザーズが誕生して今年で35年になります。そして今年なんとこのゲームの世界をここユニバーサルスタジオに本気で作ってしまったんですね。マリオメーカーで簡単に作れればいいんですけれども、
ご視聴ありがとうございましたでは行ってきます<笑> I like, I like the idea, the whole concept. They're probably going to do this to replace Islands of Adventure. But overall,、um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of,、uh, a, a lot of people that are going to be filming inside、uh, the,、uh, the attraction, and there are going to be a lot of copyright disputes if、uh, anyone ever decides to、uh, upload this to, the, let's say, to YouTube as、like、a demonstration. That's going to be my main concern in the future because I've seen it happen a lot with Universal Attractions. I don't know if、uh, one or, 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 or other、uh, Disney attractions got through this as well, this,、uh, this scenario. But、uh, yeah, that's going to be like, the main concern. It's like the copyright,、uh, copyright claiming all the videos that are from Super Nintendo World, just filming the other attractions, and filming the food, or filming the,、uh, the experience overall. And that's just going to, like,、um, I guess it, it might affect them. I don't know. It's, it's kind of a double edged sword at this point. It, it, it can go any which way. I mean, I do know that they are going to make, at least make、um, these, these attractions in both、uh, Hollywood, California, as well as Orlando. So that's. Well, we'll have to wait a while.、Uh, we know that this thing's, gonna, this thing's going to debut on、uh, February. So we'll just have to see what happens then. But that was fun for now. It was interesting to see this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and、uh, take care of yourselves. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and、uh, stay safe out there. Wear a mask, wash your hands, and、uh, we'll see you in the next video. So take care. And I will be working on other, other ideas as well, so don't worry. Not just reaction videos. <laughs> take care, everyone. Goodbye.